Mr. Kashmir, which, which is the message you want to launch from European Parliament for the protection of the gay teenager facing the death penalty in Iran? I think the real message I want to send out to anyone who feels isolated, under attack, whose human rights are being taken away from them, I want to send this single message that so long as the socialist group is in existence, you are not alone. And which is the case of this teenager uh, debating today at the European Parliament, which is the, the position, the different position that you can have? Here in the, the Parliament we will be voting on sending a very strong message to the United Kingdom government as well as the European Commission and the Council uh, mm -hmm. about the deportation of, uh, of Mr. Kazemi back to Iran, the possible deportation. He's known as a gay, the, gay man there, he's 19 years old, his lover, his partner, was hanged, slowly hung to death in the public gallows in Iran. And we're saying that this man should not be sent back, he should be given asylum, he should be given refugee status. Sadly, I wish that all of the political parties here in the Parliament could support that. Sadly, I've been told that the European People's Party will be voting against this motion on legal grounds. Where are the legal arguments that says we stand back and do nothing and send someone to their certain death? There are no legal arguments, no legal justifications for that. This is a moral statement that the Parliament is being asked to make, and we must all stand by that moral statement. And do you think, uh, um, is there any legal procedure to avoid this deportation? There is a legal procedure. Thankfully, in the United Kingdom, uh, I've written to the Prime Minister, I've written to our Home Affairs, our Interior Minister, uh, asking them to reconsider the case. He will have an opportunity to put his appeal before the, uh, the judiciary. There are new conditions. It, he is now widely known, not only in Iran, but across Europe. And, and no one could put an argument that to send this gay teenager back to Iran, uh, that it would not put his life at risk. It would, and therefore under the European Convention, uh, and indeed on the European Convention on Human Rights, as well as the directives here in the Parliament, the obligations under the treaty, we have sufficient legal grounds to say, give this man refuge. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much.